Hi everyone, this is Marcia. Welcome back to part three of this really big jar, the one we paid $64.99 for. I think we're about halfway through, so we have a couple more videos after this one. I say that, but we'll see. We'll take it one video at a time. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Are you ready to get into this one? Let's do it. Let's put some of this on the mat. Ooh, something something's still in the package. Oh, we're gonna have tangles. Well, of course. Wouldn't be a jewelry jar without tangles, right? <laughs> Get off to the side. I see some more Christmas. Well, there's an angel. I don't know if it's necessarily Christmas, but because angels are with you all year round. So we've got that as our first piece. Here's a big old watch, and it's done in camo. What brand? I don't see a brand, but it is working. That's not the right time, but it is, it is counting the minutes. That's interesting. Here is a brass tone, but not brass, bangle. We've got some more shells. Yeah, that we'll get to in a minute. <laughs> and some Mardi Gras beads. Can we get this out? Oh, fine chain. Oh, we've got a fine chain. Do we got something good? Oh, I might have to might have to work on this a little bit. We'll put it off to the side. Got one of these. Doesn't match anything we've seen so far. These are the molded in place beads. Similar, but not quite the same as the Mardi Gras beads. They need a good washing. But it's like, my gosh, a greenish gray. It's, it's They're gray, but they have a, a hue to them that's green. I don't know. Fashion earrings made in Taiwan. Top. Again, fun color. What is this? Aries. A shark's tooth. I want to just take a quick look to see what that says. It says Bella Ryan or Ryan, but it's two N's, like A N N. Not heard of that one, but it's Aries. Oh my goodness, that's inside out. That's big. Nice colors. I like that gray. Okay, more Christmas. Look at these. These are handmade. Cute. Those are fun. Fun, fun. Here we have an extender. Silver tone. Did you? I had my hands on that. Did you see it? <laughs> it's so tiny. All right, what have we got here? This one's made in China. Tree with, I don't know if it's abalone or faux abalone. They can fake anything these days, I'll tell you. And these, I think they're probably fi like the fire polish beads or just the, just beads. Ooh. That's interesting. Some more shells with the barrel clasp. Is this pewter, maybe? I'm not sure that's a mark, but it's a lighthouse. My husband likes lighthouses, so this will go to him. Don't know what he'll do with it, but he'll want it. Here's a stick pen. Aww. It's a cloisonne style panda. I might save this for my granddaughter. She likes pandas. 
little panda bears. So yeah, that will be going to her. Wow. Twist it. What is this? Oh, is that a... No, it's not a brooch. Oh, I, I think it was a barrette. Well, you know what? Looks like a picture frame. So that's good for a craft project. I think. Here's a, another bangle. No name that I can see. Let's see. Okay. Not or not. Looks like a pretzel. <laughs> Reminds me of a pretzel. There you go. Interesting. Got a loose bead. We've got. We've got this. No name. Mm, oh my! Look, it's coming off on me. Pretty slider though. Kind of like a bamboo, but there's a lot of verdigris on that one. Put that aside. Oh. Purse charm? No. Thanks to Alina, I think I know what this is. It could be a purse charm. But I have one that I'm using now that I found in a jewelry drawer, thanks to her, that you hang this on your purse and you hang your keys. This hangs on the outside of your purse and then your keys get put on here and they hang inside of your purse. So you see this, you know where your keys are instead of them being in the bottom, just throwing them into your purse and being in the bottom and having to rummage for them all the time so I think that's what it is and if Alina you're watching this and you can confirm that please do <laughs> but I want to see what's on written on there it's really hard to make out I think it says Alex A-L-E-X-X -X, incorporated and then whatever that other stuff is says made in China but anyway we have that and we have we have this. I don't know. Is this a necklace? I don't know what that says. I think it says JBS JOP. I think. Unless I had it upside down. No. I have no idea. I'm not even sure it says that. But anyway, it's a turtle. <laughs> Spending way too much time on this stuff. Alrighty, I think I've gotten a similar piece not long ago. Oh no. To this. Of course, the ribbon is 1928. Don't like the ribbon though. I think the other piece I found was a 1928, so could have been very similar. And we have this that is showing a lot of wear. Oh my goodness. So is this piece. I was referring to this, but since this came out first. Yeah, this looks like an older piece, but it's a lot of wear that almost has the look of um, gold filled but it's probably brass a lot of wear on it though cute blue rhinestone oh no way no way this is Monet a Monet clasp though. I'm pretty sure. It's this it's the sister clasp. Let me see if it says Monet. 
It sure does. It says Monet around this piece here. And on the other side it says um, it's a patent patent pending. Wow. I this just does not look like Monet to me. I just I think of gold pieces when I think of Monet, but that's what it says. So I guess it is. Uh, this is this is broken. Is that the I don't know if that's the simply Vera Vera Wang symbol or not. Can somebody help me out? I know I think it's similar to that, but I don't know if that's it. But it's broken. It's bad. And this we got it loose. Heavy and a lot of wear. Does it have a clasp? It does not. But that is doubled, so and showing a lot of wear. Let's see, we have this. Fuller? That's what it looks like. F-U-L-L-E-R, Fuller. And it's broken. It's got some pull. All right, well, there's a lot of broken pieces in here. Um, oh, Gantz, January Garnet. I'm sure it's not the actual gemstone, but it has the garnet color. Still in the package. Huh. Riviera. Regularly $10, $6.99, and $4.99. Marked down. Oh, puffy stitched red hat. And here we have some wooden and coconut and faux pearl stretch bracelets. We have another watch with possibly gemstones. That one felt cold and looks like a tiger's eye. That looks like a venturine. The blue looks like it could be sodalite. And who makes it? I have no idea. Lafayette. Have to look into that. It's pretty. Pretty as a bracelet, even if the watch doesn't work. Okay, let's get a few more pieces out here. Ones that aren't tangled. Got a match to these. Puffy earrings. These look like they're out of the 60s, but I, I know they've made them recently, but yeah. And here's Kim Rogers. I've gotten watches by her. I didn't know she made anything else. $10. Where are they sold? Belk. Belk.com. Well, there you go. New on the card. And we have Sunshine Yellow. Looks like rocks. <laughs> Tumbled stones. And here, oh, that piece is broken. Too bad when it's got a piece of hair on it. Oh, it does have a clasp. They're plastic. You can see the the seams where they're molded together. Hey, clean it up. Let the kids play with it. Here is another huge watch. Onyx. Oh, and it ticks. It is working. Now, I'm assuming which I should never do since the size of it is, is so big. But you know what? Big watches for women was a thing, so I shouldn't say. 
if you like it, wear it. I don't care who they intended it to be, who they made it for originally. But that is, and it's a copper color. I love this. I love this color. Oh my goodness. How do you get it open? I'll figure it out later. It, it has to open. I don't know how though. Okay, can't mess with it. It's neat though. And look at this. It says Officer Camden County, State of New Jersey, Fire Police 121. I wonder, I wonder if this was a an actual badge for a police officer. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to assume the worst, but it makes me sad to see it in a container like this. Well. well let's do this. This is a patch. It's never been used, but it's dirty now. I guess you could put it on something and then wash the piece. So, N. And this says best, and it's a pen pendant, two-tone, leaping frog. <laughs> That's funny. Funny, funny, funny. Let's see. Here's an anchor, a heart, and a made with love. Not any brand name that I can see. And oh, his rings definitely are. Got another earring. Oh, got a silver shell. Isn't that pretty? I don't know what the. I don't know if that's actually like silver dipped, like silver plated. It's cute. What is this? That is pretty. So it looks like a fiber op fiber optic bead. It has that see that line when you move it? It also has a mark. So is this sterling? Well, this is gonna mark I think too. Yep, this one's marked nine. This one's marked nine two five. And can we see what this one says? I can't see it. I need to see it. Well, yes, it's 925. It's probably a CZ. It's got a lot of uh, fire. Well, this one doesn't stick, so we may have more sterling. Nice. Here's a stretch bracelet. Stretch is not very good on it, though. That. And we have this charm bracelet. AAI. Okay, so that's the pyramids. That's Eiffel Tower in Paris. Don't know what that says. Grand Canyon, I've been there, and Hawaii. So it's like a tribal bracelet. Cute. And we have this. And that says Brighton. Okay, it's, it's a double mirror, but the latch is broken, but it is Brighton. I don't know what that's worth. Let's see what time. Oh, we got, got time for a couple more. Alrighty. I think it's made to look like a signet monogram, but really just a scroll work. And here we have another Gans. Made in China. 
not very well. <laughs> Gonna put that knot in there. And it's got the initial J. And yeah, we had this one. So these are shell. And these kind of match the um, one shell necklace that I made. The pendant was the brown shell like this on my other channel. From Jars to Jewels. It looks like the same tone. So these might go with that. You know, match up well enough to you can wear it. Um, not a match. We have this shell, but not the match. And we've got this thing, Steward, 1974. It says Royal Masonic Benevolent Institution. Oh, sorry. Toy, T-O-Y-E. Toy Kenning and the, the light is hitting it. I can't really. Spencer, Limited, London. $3.99. Okay. Don't know. Is that someone's crest? I don't know. Don't know. So watch. Old watch. Just says 100 feet water resistant. I don't know who makes it, but it's in bad shape. It is. It is in pretty bad shape. Okay, I'm gonna stop there, and we'll be back. I guess with a part four. Yeah, this is part three, so part four is coming. So be on the lookout. <laughs> so until then, you all take care. And I'll see you on that next video. Bye-bye.